That was awesome, guys. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Oivin Oxnes and Haute Deng Ve from the Arctic Philharmonic playing Theatrical Six by Casey Kangelosi. Listen. Now, um, it's my distinct honor and privilege uh, to introduce Norway's Minister of Culture, Linda Helleland, through the miracle of transportation in the north. She is able to join us. 
Minister, thank you so much for coming. It's great to see you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome so. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Ministers, Excellences, friends of the Arctic. I'm very happy to finally be here, and I'm sorry for my late arrival. But I know that my co-host, Maria Utsi, made you all feel welcome to this important summit. When I finally find myself at the plane, I look down at the magnificent scenery of the Arctic. And you have come from distant places, including the entire Arctic region. As Minister of Culture, I am pleased to see so many of you at this summit. The Arctic is not merely ice, not merely oceans, not merely natural resources. The Arctic is human. It is made up of unique stories about men and women, young and old, like the Sami people who this year are celebrating the 100th anniversary of the first Sami National Congress. These narratives play a key role in the complexity of Arctic culture. For a long time, the primary focus has been on protection and preservation, about security, resources, or environmental matters. And these are important issues. The discussion about the Arctic should, however, also be about development. Preservation and cultural development are not mutually exclusive. We can do both, and we can do more. This year, Norway has the presidency of the Nordic Council of Ministers. The Nordic countries have a strong commitment to sustainable development. We work together to promote social and cultural development in this region. The Arctic Cooperation Programme of the Nordic Council of Ministers has a people-first approach. The focus is on exploring new paths and possibilities for people in the Arctic region and changing in the uh, environment. We welcome initiatives to, that build cultural and social capital among the people of the Arctic. In this first Arctic Art Summit, I think it is essential that we do not only define, but also show what culture can be in its entirety. This is reflected in the program. First of all, art for art's sake principle, which not only highlights the stories that have shaped Arctic culture, but also offer an insight into contemporary art. Then there is the interaction between culture and society. Culture creates living societies for the people who live there and for those visiting. The Arctic Arts Festival in Hashta with international contributors as well as local performers is an excellent example of this. Recently, the Norwegian government presented our Arctic strategy. The ambition is for Northern Norway to become one of the most innovative and sustainable regions in our country. I believe culture plays a central part to reach this ambition. The people in the north are the cornerstone of our circumpolar policy. And in this perspective, we now engage in these discussions. A perspective that permits us to form networks, to build cultural infrastructure, 
and generate policies that include all eight Arctic countries. This is an international region, not divided by ice, but rather joined by the ocean. And now, when the entire world is looking at the Arctic region, we are aiming to strengthen our cooperation, putting culture on the agenda. And today, we have been presented with some wonderful examples of culture from the North. And I know there is more to come. I believe we share the same closeness to the Arctic, both in the planning of this summit and today. Thoughts and ideas have been put forward from several participants. And therefore, I'm delighted to present a final statement for adaption. You will see it on the screen here. And I think also there are copies available outside. We want to bring the discussion on culture even further. I believe that this statement summarizes our common interest in putting culture on the agenda. And I hope that we all can agree to this statement. The final statement from the Arctic Arts Summit is then adopted. And this marks a very good start to our efforts to bring culture into the wider debate on the Arctic region. This has been a day that points to the future. And it's therefore nice to hear that Finland and Rovaniemi are interested in hosting the next Arctic Art Summit in 2019. Have a great day tomorrow. I'm looking forward to the dinner and to speak with you tonight. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very, very much, Minister. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. And congratulations on the final statement. Thank you, everyone, for contributing to this. I think it's great news that, that, that Finland and others are interested in continuing the momentum that you have built for, uh, for this conference. So thank you very, very much, Minister. Thank you. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, one last uh, order of business before, uh, before we, we, we close. I wanted to introduce Jeremy McGowan, who's the director of Northern Norway Art Museum, who's going to tell us a little bit about a, a private art uh, exhibit, Subsistence, uh, that he's going to, uh, to share with us. Uh, it's uh, a collaboration with the uh, Anchorage Museum as well as with the, uh, the Arctic Arts Festival here in, in Harshdad. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jeremy McGowan. Thanks, Jeremy. I will keep this brief. You've not all exactly been suffering, but you have been subjected to a, a long day. Uh, just to make you all aware that before dinner this evening, between 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock this evening, there is not a private art exhibition, but a private preview viewing of an art exhibition, which my institution has realized together with the Anchorage Museum in Alaska. It is a very public event, or will be soon. You're all very welcome to attend this. Uh, most of the participating artists will be there. It is a very informal event. It's a sort of drop-in exhibition opening in a good Arctic style. There will be no speeches or anything else. It's pure art served up cold as we like it. Uh, so you're all very welcome. The exhibition has, has 15 participating artists from six different Arctic northern countries, and we hope very much that it conceptually serves as a platform for already now using the arts directly to think through, rethink, and even subvert some of the things that have been said today and things that will be said tomorrow as well. So you're all very welcome from 5 o'clock onwards, and there will be two performances by Alison Warden, the performance Inipiak performance artist from Alaska, at 6 o'clock and 6.45. Thank you. Thanks very much.
Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very, very much. It's been a, a great day, and thank you so much for, for your uh, in, indulgence, uh, and thank you so much for paying attention to what has been, I think, a really interesting uh, day of, of discussion, a really interesting perspectives that have been shared from across the Arctic region, from governments, uh, from uh, organizations at the, at the local level, from municipalities, and also from indigenous peoples. So uh, looking forward to seeing you all uh, tomorrow at 9 o'clock. There will be exciting panel discussions, as we've already heard. And so uh, on behalf of all of the organizers, uh, Tusen Tuck, and uh, we shall see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. And up. Uh, who wants to catch the ball? Pass it on. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks.